Peter Clark's The Crossing is one of his powerful ghetto fence works in which the artist used gouache, collage and text to express his opposition to apartheid. It was made in 1987, a time when any political criticism could put one at serious risk in South Africa. The triptych vibrates with significance. In the left panel, the African continent is surrounded by artworks from Egyptian tomb murals to an aqua bar, the Ghanaian symbol of beauty. There's also Benin bronze, like those plundered during the sack of Benin in 1897, and Ghana's magnificent kenti and adinkra cloths, which are recognizable around the world as symbols of hope. Under Kwame Nkrumah, Ghana was the first sub-Saharan African country to attain independence in 1957 and became the home of many exiles such as Stokely Carmichael, the philosopher behind Black Power. In the middle panel, a diagram of a slave ship showing how bodies were packed for a journey of approximately 80 days, as well as documents and Clark's own handwritten text expose the horrors of the Atlantic slave trade in which 12 and a half million Africans were shipped to the Americas. The right panel entitled America commemorates famous icons of abolition and black liberation from Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass at the top to Marcus Garvey and Sojourner Truth in the center and Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. in the lower register. As increasing political pressure was put on the apartheid government to release Nelson Mandela and begin the transformation of South Africa into a just and inclusive society, Peter Clark's The Crossing made a meaningful artistic plea for human rights and for the democratic values of dignity, equality and freedom to be extended to all. Clark's plea is just as vivid and valid now.